Hello, so we're back and this time we have a nice laptop, Acer Predator i7 i-Gen and uh, NVIDIA graphics. Laptop is not coming on, but shows the power light when it's plugged in. This happened after I tried to install an additional hard drive to the system. Uh, I believe we had a job like this uh, when the customer tried to install a, or try to swap a M2 drive and the laptop died. So this is another case of uh, that laptop by, uh, you know, swapping the hard drive. But before we are starting, let's speak about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution based on the fact that all kinds of PCBs, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal are available from them. Every new register, they are getting $5 welcome bonus which is about 10 PCBs. So you'll get 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now I did check myself the quality of the PCBs. This is what you expect from, uh, you know, a top-notch uh, PCB manufacturer. So uh, don't forget to have a look on the link uh, from the description. Now let's go back to our uh, repair. Let's plug a charger and let's see what it's doing. We need an Acer plug, blue one, yeah. That's the one. We need 19 volts. We need some current here. About, yeah, 4.6 amps. Great. Plug in the charger. And it's taking like 40 milliamps. We have the charging light here. Yeah, it's taking two amps. Check that, yeah. So it's, it is taking uh, power, pressing the power button. And it's taking 2.2 amps. But how can I know if the laptop is on or not? 1.7, pressing the power button. 2 amps. Huh, confusing. And it's going down to 1.6. Anyway, we're going to disconnect the battery in order to check the fold properly let's open the laptop quickly the screws are out and the laptop is open yeah that's a classic board so i'm assuming this is the hard drive wait what is white there hmm? What? What is burned here? You can see it's a black spot there. I mean, there is a black spot. Here is a white spot. Let's go under the microscope and check together to see what is there. Wait, what? what is that? One second, because I'm confused. So that's an input capacitor, but the laptop, it is charging fine. So... Uh, yeah, that capacitor is burned, but, uh, you know, have nothing to do with actually fault. So this and here, here and here, and we have zero. Wait one second. Why do we have no voltage? Yeah, we have 50.5, you can see. So this capacitor indeed is burned, but, I mean, it explodes in such a way it doesn't, uh, doesn't disturb the circuit. So we're not going to take that out, that capacitor, because, you know, it's just a souvenir. But this is burn or what? What is this? No. Uh, okay, I'm curious to disconnect the battery. Let me disconnect the battery. And let's check the output of the coil, because this looks like a faulty chipset. Oh, that's that's how it looks. So the output of the coil, one ohm. Huh? We have one ohm on this coil. And yeah, that, bro, this is the chipset coil. This is the chipset coil. And on the chipset, we have one ohm here, and here we have zero ohms because it's ground. 
Yeah, we have a dead cheap set. Uh, you know, if you play with um, if you play with uh, with the hard drive with the power on, uh, the trucks from the SSD or M2 uh, are going straight to the chipset. So uh, bad things can happen if, let's say, you think the power the computer is off, but the computer is on standby. And on standby or hibernate, you have voltage on the SSD. So it's quite dangerous to play. But let's come with uh, like one volt on this coil. And it's taking like 600 milliamps. One amp. One second, the chipset is not burned. I mean, this 800 milliamps is going, is going, is going to the chip. This little prick. So actually, the chip is burned. So we have like one ohm, not because the chipset is dead, but because the the power supply IC is burned. Lol. I mean, how did this ship got burned in the first place? Because of the capacitor? No! You know, the capacitor is on the main power rail. Wow, you know what? We have some chance to fix this laptop. We have some chances. Let's remove the, the, the IC, the chip. Hopefully I can... Actually, I want to remove the chip and check the resistance of the chipset, yeah? We should have like over 30 ohms on the chipset. Uh, you know what? I'm assuming this is the chipset power supply. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Okay, so we removed the chip. Chip position, yeah. Uh, let's check the coil now. So the coil has 2.5 ohms, 2.6. Wait. So we still have a dead chipset here. I mean, we took we took the chip out. Yeah, I can find this uh, this IC. I can find it. But why we still have like two ohms there? That's my question. Hmm? Now we have nine ohms. Oh, because the chipset is hot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you see, that's why heat matter. So the hotter is um, a motherboard, uh, the resistance goes down, the heat is going up, and so on. And we have 19 ohms, but if we, we if we are cool, cooling the chipset. Yeah, check there, check there, 25 ohms, and it can do better, 27 ohms, and we can get it over 3, 30 ohms. 29, come on. Come on, you're a good chipset. 28 ohms. 29, I can't get it over 29, because the board is hot. We just removed the, we just removed the chip. But the chipset is good, yeah? So let me try to find another uh, IC. I'm pretty sure I have one. So this is a Sealergy chip, I believe it is.
and we have AVS BWE. Okay, let me try to find this chip. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Check here, yeah. AVS, AWS, yeah. So AWS uh, are the three. The first three letters are ma matter, and uh, the chip. I will tell you what chip it is. It's a Celergy SY82A6 uh, Brack IC. Okay, let's get the chip. Yeah, this is a spare board. Yeah, so we got the chip. Perfect, let's solder the chip back, chip position, like that. Yeah. We need a little bit of uh, flux. Let's get some flux on the chip here. Yeah, that's good. And let's solder the chip back. Perfect. So the chip it is soldered on place. Uh, I'll replace this capacitor. No, actually not, because we have another one there, right? Yeah, we have another cap there, so we are fine. So not sure if the uh, bore layers are burned here. But for me it's looking fine. Mm -hmm. Hopefully nothing nothing is burned inside of the of that hole. Perfect, so we replace the chip. Let's cool down the area. Good, I don't want to plug the battery. The battery has a lot of current and I'm not confident about that. So I'm gonna plug the power supply. 19 volts. So plug in the charger and it's taking no current. We have a blue light there. It's taking like 30 milliamps. Pressing the power button and the power uh, the power supply is getting into the limit. Okay, let me raise the current. Yeah, 4.6 amps. Plug in the charger, pressing the power button. I see a flash on the screen. One point seven amps. The chipset is getting hot. Okay, the chipset is getting too hot. Ugh. Come on, I just want the chipset to be good. Probably the somebody reset the bio, so we have to wait a little bit. But the current is changing, and that's good when the current is changing. 2.4, check that. You can see the current. We have picture! That's crazy! Actually, it's working. Lol. No bootable device. Because the hard drive is not plugged. It's working, I can't believe. Let's check the voltage on that coil. I mean, I'm assuming it's 3.3 volts, but let's be sure. Let's be sure. So on that coil, we have one volt. We have one volt. Uh, yeah, make a confusion. I, I thought, you know, it's 3.3. Because if I remember, I came with the power supply. No, the chipset is fine. It's about like 50 degrees, but that's normal. Uh, I came with like 1.2 volts. Uh -huh. I thought it's like 3.3, .3, but it's not. It's the 1 volt one. It's using 3.3 .3 also, the chipset. Good. Let me plug 
uh, let me plug my SSD and check uh, if the chipset is reading the M2 drive. He's making that weird startup sound. Loading the windows. Yes, yeah, so the chipset is fine. The chipset is fine. Yeah, all good, all good. You know what? I'm happy I held this customer. This is a lucky customer because you know when you play play with the hard drives. And you think the laptop is off, but maybe it's on sleep mode, and on the sleep mode, the hard drives, they have voltage. I mean, there is, there is a very high chance to kill the chipset. But in this case, and I cannot explain why that power supply got faulty. I mean, has no connection with the exploded capacitor. Or maybe has a small connection. Let's say that capacitor sparked and, you know, the voltage rise and burned the chip. Yeah, it's working fine. Yeah, all good, all good. Let me power off. Probably it was some voltage spikes from uh, that capacitor which exploded there. And that killed the chip. But the chip was killed on a such a way, uh, probably shorts the internal uh, output to ground. Because otherwise, you know, any short happening, it will send to the chipset like 19 volts. But yeah, the chip uh, did the job and protect the, the output. So I'm going to stop here. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video like usual. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.